Hello friends. So in today's session we will learn about the basics of Prolog. Prolog stands for Programming Logic. Prolog is a programming language that uses the principle of logical reasoning to answer the queries. So basically in Prolog our objective is to design a knowledge base. Knowledge base is something which contains a fact and the rules. Knowledge base has the capability to induce certain new facts out of the existing facts. So we will see. So first we will see what the fact is. So the fact is the statement which are assumed to be true. So let us take an example. If A is B is given to us and also if it is given that B is C then we can induce that A is C. Similarly, if we see the other example, let's say the two facts are given to us. Fact 1 says Khalid is a lecturer and we can refer this as A is B, that is Khalid is a lecturer. The second fact is given lecturer is human. So we can write as B is C. So if A is B and B is C, we can easily induce that A is C, that means Khalid is a human. So this is a, a small example just to get the understanding that how to induce a new fix out of the given fix. So basically if you look in the prologue there are three basic constructs. One is the fix. So basically the fix are used to state the things that are unconditionally true of the domain of interest. These are the statements which we assume to be a true. Rules are also used to state the information that are unconditionally true of the domain of interest. So basically when we talk of prologue our objective is to create a knowledge base. And knowledge base is nothing but is a collection of facts and rules. So knowledge base is just a collection of fact and rules. So when we try to make a knowledge base for an agent, we have to identify what are the facts we have to keep in the context of his intelligence and the rules. So prologue programming is all about writing a knowledge base. So when we create a knowledge base for any agent, you can ask the queries. Let us take an example of some facts. Boy Ahmed, Boy Majid, Girl Arwa. That means we have given the fact that Ahmed is a boy, Majid is a boy, Arwa is a girl. And then we have also given facts like Father Rashid Ahmed. So you can say Rashid is a father of Ahmed or Zainab is a mother of Ahmed. So in prologue terminology, these Ahmed, Mazid, and Arwa are said to be the atoms. And boy, girl is said to be the properties. Whereas father and mother are the relations. So when the properties are having two or more parameters, then it is said to be a relation. Now, while writing the facts in the prologue, we have to keep in mind certain rules. The first rule is beginning with a lowercase letter. That is always when you write a fact, the first letter should be in lowercase. The other important point that we have to keep in mind is end the fact statement by a full stop. So every fact should be terminated by a full stop. So once you have created the knowledge base then we can ask a query like you can ask a prologue based on the knowledge base after the prompt symbol. For example if you ask a query boy mazid that means is Mazid a boy? So based on the given facts, 
you will get the answer true so the answer for this is true similarly if i ask based on the given facts is rahima a girl so if you look at this knowledge base there is no information about the rahima so the prologue will return the answer false so now move on to the more uh, wider knowledge base so here we have facts and also we have the rule facts are a simple statement which contains only one atoms but when it comes to rule rule is used to state the information which infers or implies to an other fact so if we look at this knowledge base we have read book sayed happy khalid then we have author sayed we are using this sign colon followed by a hyphen sign read a book sayed so basically when we talk of rule we have two parts one is the left hand side and one is the right hand side the left hand side part is called the head of the rule so if you look at this rule this is the head and the right hand of this sign is called the body so this part is called the body the normal rule or the uh, general rule says that if the body is true then head is assumed to be true and how can we read this we read this sayed is the author if sayed reads the book khalid reads the book if khalid is happy this is how we can uh, represent the rules now let us look at some queries that how we can frame a query and how the answer should be written by the prologue the fact and rules contained in the knowledge base are called clauses so the collection of entire information which we are which we are creating inside a knowledge base is basically a clauses so in the knowledge base basically we have the facts and the rules so the all the facts and rules are collectively called as a clauses so if we look if we look at this knowledge base it contains five clauses out of which two are the facts and three are the rules the another way we can say that it consists of three predicates predicate means a uh, so predicates are a unique set of information that we have created in the knowledge base so if you look at this in this knowledge base we have five clauses out of five clauses we are saying these are two facts and the three are rule but if we say the the unique information we can see we have three unique facts one is the reader book happy and about the author so we have we can also say that this knowledge base contains three predicates so now we look at the query khalid author means you want to ask to the prologue that is khalid an author so if you look at this knowledge base we don't have the information khalid author so what does it written it will return true how it will return true because with the help of the rule now see here we have the information that khalid is happy so if you look at the rule number 2 khalid happy means khalid reads a book so out of this khalid happy fact this knowledge base can induce a new information that khalid also reads a book means khalid reads a book is a true as i told you that in this rules if the right hand side body is true then the head is assumed to be true so based on this happy khalid fact we can 
infer that Khalid also reads the book. So this is the new fact that the knowledge base has generated out of the given information. Now, if you look at the rule number three, because we have already identified that Khalid reads the book, so the Khalid reads the book is a true, then it says the Khalid is the author. So the prologue will return the answer as a true. So we have seen in this session what is knowledge base, what is facts, what is rule, and how the prologue actually infers the new fact out of the existing facts. So in the next session, we will actually implement this using a prologue, using a prologue editor, and we can create a knowledge base and we can run some queries to see the prologue answer. Thank you very much. See you in the next session.